tell us the heart of your research. What do you look at? Engineers have been really focused on drawing from nature to uh, basically enhance the efficiency of their designs. Now these range from designs in the automotive industry um, to our case, uh, the wind turbine industry. And the wind turbine industry you're using from what, the wings of birds? Is that yes, what you're looking at? Yes, yes. A lot of the birds uh, out there have uh, this type of curved wing tips. And uh, the way it functions is that, uh, especially for the bigger birds, they have, uh, their, their weight is uh, obviously much larger. And they've intrinsically came up with this design, if you would say, from, um, uh, at the wingtips of their uh, wings, right. that would reduce the friction uh, when they're flapping their wings in the uh, upcoming air. So uh, by reducing the drag, uh, which is like just the friction of the air, we can enhance the efficiency of our design. So then when it comes to turbines, you want them to turn more efficiently and easier, the friction through the air and that sort of thing. How does that contribute to say, creating more energy? Typically, the normal uh, modern wind turbines operate at a range of 50% efficiency. The current model that we have developed uh, here at the University of Alberta increases that efficiency by up to 10%. This design acts as a post-production type of a design. What I mean by that is you can have your wind turbine already installed, then you can go to the field, and uh, if you think of it as a sock, you can just install that sock right on top of your wind turbine, and that will oh. increase the output of the electricity by 10%. Have you tested it on some big ones, or is it so far just in a... We were mostly uh, focused on computer simulations, which has its own subtleties. The next part of our uh, the research would definitely be to make an actual uh, full-scale model and then go to the field and test that out.